Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from GPAnswers.com, and today we're going to talk all about group policy modeling. What the heck is group policy modeling? Well, let's take a big step back and let's talk about uh, maybe how your environment already works. For instance, uh, you know, in my little environment here, I've got um, East Sales users and West Sales users, and you know, maybe my East Sales is all the way in New York and my West Sales is all the way in California. And that's cool. And every once in a while, I have people that will change job roles between my East Sales and my West Sales. So what does that mean? That means, gosh, if they change job roles, that means their whole world, their whole group policy world is going to change. If only there was a way for me to predict what that might look like when they change job roles, well, that would be great. It's great for me because I know what, what, to, uh, what to work on if there's a problem. And it's great for them because they're going to have a perfect user experience the first time they log on. And it's great for you again because uh, you get to prove to the boss that you're thinking ahead about the kinds of problems that users might have if they change job roles. So group policy modeling is a prediction engine. So we're going to right-click over group policy modeling and go to the group policy modeling wizard. So um, the first thing that you get asked is what domain controller do you want to use? And the idea is that this is where the, uh, the scientific calculation goes on. It doesn't really involve your client machines too much. So from a, we're going to pick a user. We'll pick a Fabricam East Sales User 1. So we're going to take this guy on this computer, Fabricam uh, Win 7 Computer 1. We'll take that combination. So we've got our starting point. This is our starting point. And now we're going we're gonna to play pretend. And we can play pretend at a bunch of different points here. I'm not going to go over all these points. But the idea is, remember, I said that they've changed uh, job roles. Uh, now, this could mean that they were in one physical Active Directory site and they've changed job roles to a new Active Directory site. I only have really one site set up here for this demo, but you get the general idea. If I had a, Californ if I had a New York site and a California site, I could actually make the difference there. Um, I could also, like I said, they're definitely changing job roles from East Sales over to West Sales. Okay, oops, they're a West Sales user. Okay. And uh, if they were changing computers, if they had a laptop, they might keep this location for the computer is. But if they're changing job roles and they're getting a new laptop or something or a new desktop, you might also have to change the computer location. Um, there are some other points here as well about security groups and also WMI filters. We don't want to get too far into that today. I just want to give you a quick primer uh, of how this thing works. Now, again, the simulation or the math is happening on a domain controller. And when it's done, well, let's, actually, let's try to predict ourselves. I happen to have a very simple environment here. Now again, if somebody's going to go to the West Sales Users OU, they should pick up the GPO123. So let's go ahead and uh, see if they get that. Yep, sure enough. So they get create a new shortcut from the domain level and the default domain policy from the domain level and also GPO123 from West Sales. Now again, it's a simple example, but if you had dozens or a hundred or whatever group policy objects all linked to various levels, you're going to love the group policy modeling wizard because not only does it show you what GPOs you get applied to the computer and the user side, but also all the settings that you're supposed to get. So the idea is that this is a great way for you to know in advance what a user is supposed to get. Okay, so that's it. Again, I'm Jeremy Moskowitz from GPAnswers.com. Thanks for listening to All About Group Policy Modeling. Talk to you soon.